What's up my vain babies? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a review on the Bad Medina Glam Liquid Lipstick, Lip Paint, and also the lipsticks, okay? So first off, you want to take Diamond Skin and you want to place that on the lips. The purpose of this is to give your lips uh, some type of moisture under the liquid lipstick because the liquid lipsticks are... Uh, they're not necessarily drying on the lips, but they do get extremely matte. Um, so this will keep the liquid lipsticks from cracking as you wear these lipsticks all day. Okay, because the whole purpose of wearing liquid lipsticks is to wear it for longevity. And this is nudie. Alright, next we're going to take... Um, this one is called Darling from um, the Bad Medina collection. And where, as you can see, I'm staying inside the lines. And then I make sure I go to the bottom of the lips and I'm making sure I stay inside these lines. It's a major key. Just make sure you follow your lip line. Some people like to overdraw them. Um, I just like to stay inside and go over a little bit of my top lip. And that is Darling. Next we're going to take Thanks Boo <laughs> from the Bad Medina Collection. Uh, this is a really unique color. Um, it's like a light purple grayish. Um, I really like this color. It's very unique. You can even pair this with a lip liner if you like. Uh, maybe like a dark brown, a dark purple. Like you can wear this with a couple things. And this was Spanx Boo. Next we're going to take this extreme electric pink called Bombshell from the Bad Medina Collection. And this one is very, very electric. Uh, you can wear this for a lot of different events, but make sure you're ready to be loud, honey, and stand out in the crowd because you're going to be very loud with Bombshell. Next, we're going to go with a more a little bit of a soft pink, and this one is called Pink Pout. Um, if you're familiar with MAC lipsticks, uh, this one's close to Snob or St. Germain, except this is a liquid lipstick, okay, lip paint. So it's going to be extremely matte all day. And just don't forget to put your diamond skin on before you place these liquid lipsticks on. Don't put it on after because then it will change the texture of your liquid lipstick. So make sure you put that diamond skin on first. And this one is called Pink Pout. I really like this. This one is very nice. Next we're going to do this very unique color. It's called Obsession. It's a blue undertone pink liquid lipstick, lip, lip paint um, from the Bad Medina collection. Uh, you could even pair this with a couple colors. Uh, you could even, man, you could go crazy with this one or you could just leave it alone. Um, it's like a blue purple. It's very unique. I haven't seen anyone with a color like this, um, but I really, really like it. It even dries very, very true to color. And it doesn't take a lot of product to get the true color of the liquid lipstick. That's what I like about it. And this one's called Obsession. Last, we're gonna take, uh, we have to save the best for last, and I love red lipstick. Red lipsticks are my favorite. And this one's called Young Rouge. <laughs> so this one's called Young Rouge, R-O-U-G-E, and it's a red liquid paint, liquid lipstick. I keep saying liquid lipstick, but they're called liquid paints um, or a lip paint. And it's called Young Rouge and just make sure you, this is a really nice red. It's like a blood red. Um, it's not too pinky. It's a true red lip paint. Um, beautiful. Makes your teeth so white. I love it. Now we're going to move on to the well, first off, we got to take this off. And I wanted to show you guys how to take off your liquid lipstick. It's just always make sure you use a white. And then once the liquid lipstick is off, go ahead and put the foundation over your lips. Then set it with a translucent powder. And then you're ready to go. So the new lipstick that we're using from the Bad Medina Collection, it's called Superb. This is a, a very nude color, so you always want to make sure you pair it with a lip liner. Um, me, I was being a little different, and I put Divine on the bottom and Superb on the top. So if you're doing like a photo shoot or something like that, or you just want to be different, go ahead and do one lip one color, and the other lip a different color. 
And then these are the two uh, lip lipsticks from the Bat Medina collection. This was the soft pink and the red. Now, as you can see, this lipstick superb does not match my skin tone. So if I wear it alone, I'm going to look like a crackhead. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks without it and how it is paired with a lip liner. And this lip liner is cork for men. Next, I use cork again, and then I use Sassy from the Bad Medina Lipstick Collection. And as you can see, the brown and the coral, they go really good together. Sassy! Ooh. Next, we're going to do the green. Now, this is different, and it's called Couture. Um, so, again, all of these lip liners go with a, all of these lip lipsticks go with a brown lip liner to kind of help it go with your skin tone. So, guys, please don't go outside with just these lipsticks by themselves. You're going to look crazy, okay? Pair it with a lip liner, and you'll love them. Next, and last, we're going to do, uh, this lip, lip liner is called Vino. You can use Vino or Night Moth from MAC Cosmetics, and, um, this is just going to give my lip some definition with the pastel pink lipstick from the Medina collection. So you see how pastel -y this is? So you just want to make sure you pair it with a darker lip liner so you don't look like you're glowing, your lips are glowing dark. So you see the dimension that it gives? And I really like the consistency of these lipsticks. They're creamy, but they're not too creamy. So they'll, it's like a satin finish. All four of these lipsticks. This is divine. I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, this breakdown of the Bad Medina collection. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and I'll have weekly updates for you.